Hi, my honeys. Welcome back to my canal. If you are new here, hi, my name is Sandy Harkin, and I absolutely love everything that deals with makeup. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to be doing a cranberry makeup look which is the one that you see right here, <laughs> using a lot of new goodies in today's video. So I did use a lot of new stuff to create this um, makeup look, the eyeshadow and the lip. Um, so I hope that you guys really do enjoy today's video. If I have space and not make this video too long, I'll probably add the stuff that I use in my face today. Um, so... I did record everything um, for a quick IG video, but if I have time, I will add that in today's video too. Um, so with that said, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you if BB if you like cranberry looks like this. Um, also hit that little notification bell, which notifies you every time that I upload a brand new video here on YouTube, and subscribe to my channel, of course. And so without further ado, if you guys want to see how I got this cranberry eyeshadow makeup look for Thanksgiving and fall, then just please keep on watching. I don't know why I'm going like this. Ta-da! <laughs> Whatever. Hi guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair out of the way. I'm gonna be using these Glam Seamless Hair Clips. I will link them down below if you guys are interested. They are seriously like my favorite to put my hair to the side. Um, so I'm gonna go into my P. Louise base. This is the, the shade number two. Um, and I'm using a Morphe brush, which I will list everything down below for you guys. Um, you know I got your back. Um, so I'm just gonna place this um, for our eyeshadow base. If you guys are new to the P. Louise base, it kind of reminds me of my Urban Decay Eden Primer, but I will tell you guys this. I kind of feel like I like my Eden primer just a little bit better um, but I do switch back and forth between the P. Louise and the Urban Decay so honestly you can't go wrong with either or. I'm going to be going into the Maroon palette by B. Bella Cosmetics and I'm going to pick up this light baby pink shade which is really great for a brow bone highlight um, but I'm going to be using it as a transition. Um, it's really hard to tell on camera but in person it looks like a very nice soft subtle baby pink on my lid. Um, again, this will be our transition, so we are going to place this mainly all over our lid, um, and then we will start to build up the intensity with other shades in just a second. Still using my Morphe M433, I'm picking up this nice dark rose matte eyeshadow. Um, when I look at this eyeshadow, it reminds me of roses um, or anything vintage, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to be placing this at the outer corner of our eye, and we're going to be patting the eyeshadow, and then we're going to be blending back and forth windshield wiper motions, and then with Whatever I have left, I'm going to be dragging it into my crease and a little bit towards the inner corner. Um, but leaving the center of my lid um, empty, we're not going to apply any product there just yet. We're just mainly focusing this towards the outer corners. And right here, you guys know the drill. I'm just going back into that light baby pink that we first used as a transition shade. And then going back into that dark rose pinky eyeshadow and just going back and forth between the two until you are completely satisfied with your blending. Going into a more softer pink, I'm just gonna apply it mainly towards the outer corners just to build up the intensity. And just with whatever I have left, I will drag it into the inner corner. Um, but I really want this eyeshadow to, um, to pop, um, but still keep it very in the pink um, maroon family. Okay, and now here, I'm just touching up anything that, I, that needs to be touched up. So I'm just going back into that light baby pink that we first used and then going back into the other shades and just, you know, perfecting our eyeshadow. <laughs> we definitely don't want to see when and where our eyeshadow stopped or started. Next, I'm going to go into my Buxom Cosmetics. This is the Here's My Number um, Hold the Line Waterproof Eyeliner. Now I'm going to tight line my eyes and then I'm going to go ahead and smoke the top lash line. But we're only going to focus this mainly towards the outer corner. Um, and then I'm just going to go into the palette again, picking up a darker brown eyeshadow and using my Morphe S20 brush. I believe this brush came in a set, but I will try to find it individually or not find a dupe for you guys down in the description box. But I absolutely been loving using this brush to blend out any liner and make my liner look very smoky. So this is the start of the show. This is brand new, you guys, from B. Bella Cosmetics. This is their new metallic shadow pods. I'm using the shade Risqué. Um, they only run for $4.99, you guys, and they are crazy, seriously pigmented. I kind of hate using my long nails to dip into this. I'm definitely going to get a shorter set next time. Um, so I'm using a flat brush, which I will list down below for you guys, with absolutely no setting spray fix plus or glitter adhesive literally is a straight from the pot um so i do notice that with the brush it doesn't apply it as nicely as your finger does i feel like the finger warms it 
up a little bit better so once you do go on there with your finger I feel like it just applies better and it's more pigmented that way but it's totally up to you now there is fallout um, so make sure that if you're going to be using these um, to um, do your eyes first and then later on do your um, foundation so I do go back in with the brush just to perfect it a little bit more and spread out the product going back to the palette you guys there is an eyeshadow a shimmery eyeshadow that kind of has the same color as the metallic shadow pot um, so what I'm doing is I'm placing it right on top and blending out any harsh lines and what's really crazy is that it matches perfectly and you can't tell that it's a different eyeshadow um, so I really like doing this because it really minimizes any harsh lines and it just looks so much more blended, more pretty. Um, and then I do go back in with my finger again into that metallic shadow pot to intensify it a little bit more. Um, but other than that, is this is coming out so good. I was a little worried, not even going to lie. Still using my Morphe M433. I'm picking up this nice dark maroon plumish color. And I'm just patting it towards the outer corner of my eye since I want it to be a little bit more darker. Taking a Neutrogena wipe, I'm just cleaning away any fallout. For lashes today, I'm going to be going into the Be Bella Lashes in the Style Doll Phase. I absolutely love this pair because it's pretty wispy, but you can still see the eyeshadow peeking through. We definitely don't want to use a heavy lash um, that's going to cover up our hard work. <laughs> um, so for mascara today, I'm going to go into my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Of course, also, I did curl my lashes before this because mine can be very straight. Surprise, you guys, I am going to add my foundation routine. Nothing really has changed, but <laughs> here you go. I'm gonna go into my hangover primer by Too Faced. You guys know that I love this primer. It's not silicone and it really makes my Mac, my, my, my Mac, my makeup last a long time. I'm gonna go into my NARS foundation and I'm using a beauty blender to apply it. Um, I absolutely love this foundation, you guys, especially for either for all seasons, if, if it's winter, fall. I really feel like it really holds up really nicely. It doesn't crack, it doesn't separate. It really lasts a very long time. I actually have this in my kit for clients too. Um, this one's my personal shade that I keep on my vanity, um, but if you guys have not played with NARS foundations, you literally need to. It's really, really bomb. For concealer, I'm going to go into the new Dose of Colors. I am in the shade 10 Light. Um, also, this concealer, you guys, if you do have oily skin, you are going to love it. It's suited for best for all skin types, um, but I feel like it's a little dry, so I would definitely recommend this more for people who do have combo to oily. Um, but it blends out like a dream. Um, I'm using the same The Beauty Blender to blend it out. It's really easy. You have a lot of work time, so it doesn't dry as fast, which is really great. Definitely check it out. You can buy it um, on Dose of Coal. Colors. Oh my god, I can't talk today. On doseofcolors.com. To cream contour, you guys, I'm gonna go into my Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 360 and using this Real Techniques Face Expert brush. Face Expert brush. <laughs> you can find it at Walgreens. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the product um, inside the palm of my hand and then just pick it up with a brush. I like doing that better just because it warms up the product a little bit more and I have more control of how much product I want on my face. Um, so we're just going to sit here and just blend it out um, and then after we do that I do like to take the beauty blender and just bounce it around my face to just blend everything and just making sure there's no harsh lines. Okay, so now to contour my nose, I'm still using the Fenty Concealer, and I'm using this Morphe brush. It does not have a number because this came in a set years ago, so I'm so sorry. Um, so with the cream contour, I also like to take it up towards my brow, so that way it looks natural. <laughs> and then I just contour the tip of my nose and a little bit of the sides. Um, in the future, I hope to one day be able to afford to get a nose job. I hate my nose. I mean, I don't hate it, but I just wish it was a little bit thinner. You know what I mean? Um, I have a bump like on the top of my um, right hand side. Um, I heard that you can also get fillers to, you know, to have your nose look smaller without going under the knife. So we'll see. Now to set the areas where we applied concealer, I'm going to go into my Kylie Translucent Powder, which I am actually almost out. 
Um, so I still am really in love with this powder. Um, again, like I said before, um, with this powder, you don't want your sponge to be too wet because then the powder does crumble. Um, so just have it semi-damp. Um, so I'm just setting it on my forehead, chin, and underneath my eyes um, to really get that area really nice and baked and then we will dust it off in just a second now for contour we're going into my anastasia Beverly hills the light to medium contour kit in powder and i'm using a sigma brush which i will also list down below sorry i don't have it here with me um but basically we're just going to set the areas where we did apply the cream contour and of course this is up to your own liking you can go as dark as you wish using my morphe y11 i'm gonna go ahead and just dust off the kylie translucent powder and then i'm gonna go ahead and warm up the contour of my nose now this is totally optional but i like to bake underneath my cheekbones to give me that really snatched cheekbone look and then i also like to just set the sides of my nose as well just to give me that pinch effect um so i like to bake in these areas while i finish off the rest of my face <laughs> Now for blush, you guys, I'm going to go into the Balm Cosmetics. This is the Balm Beach Long Wear Blush. Going back to the Y11 brush by Morphe, I'm just going to dust off the remaining powder off my face. Now for highlight, I'm going to go into my CoverGirl True Blend. Um, I'm using my Anastasia, I believe this is the A2 brush for highlight. Now, the only difference is I'm going to apply it only in the apples of my cheeks. Um, so when I smile, um, you can see that nice glow. And when you take a picture, that is like the main focus. Um, and then I'm going to apply some on the bridge of my nose and just a little bit on the tip of my nose. Now for the lower lash line, you guys, I'm going to go back into that buxom brown eye pencil. And I'm just going to smoke out as close as I can to my lower lash line. And then I'm going to also apply this into my waterline. Now the only difference for today for the lower lash line, you guys know that I go very low on my lash line. But I feel like I want to apply it a little bit closer, like as close as I can to my lower lash line. But this brush is definitely a game changer if you don't want to apply too much. Now for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to go back in into the same palette and picking up like a, this shimmery pink um, eyeshadow and I'm going to place it in my inner corner with my Sigma pencil brush, the E30. Remember to use code Sandy for 10% off. Now it's time for lips, you guys. The final step on the makeup application. This is from Buxom Cosmetics. Of course, you guys know that I love these lip pencils in the shade Dolly Danger. On the other side, we have a lip spoolie, which you can just use to blend out your lip liner. So that way it doesn't look as harsh. And then we have the lipstick from Buxom Full Force Plumping Lipstick in the shade Dolly Dreamer. And you guys, that's pretty much it for today's um, makeup tutorial. Hope that you guys really do enjoy it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you recreate, tag me on Instagram subscribe and share and i'll see you guys all in the next one bye